Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing the HoshPodge HD PVR. Um, this is model 1212. Um, as indicated, it says HD PVR model 1212. It looks like they redid the packaging on it. it used to be wider, it seemed like, and different colors, like it was blue. Um, this is the same HoshPodge as the other ones that other people use. Um, so to start to unbox it, there's a large piece of tape right here. So uh, cut right there. Turn this. Little tab flips open. Okay, so right here. Oops, I fell out the remote. Here's the remote for the hodgepodge. Um, this, I actually have no idea. Oops, sorry. I have no idea what this cable does. It doesn't look like optical audio. It kind of looks like infrared or something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's for the remote. I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Right here is a six foot USB cable with that kind of connection right there and the standard USB right there. In here, this little box is the power brick for the hodgepodge, which doesn't look very long, but it's pretty wound up, so it might be, it might be long. Um, I don't know. Okay, here is a the component cables. This is probably gonna, yeah, this is gonna go from the hodgepodge to my TV, which is right next to me. It's a 50 inch Maxent TV, 1080. Not the greatest thing, but uh, it's all right. Okay. It says, here are a few notes on the HD PVR. Just telling you some things about it. Okay. Um, this one I have to spend some time reading. It's just an overview of the H high definition video recorder for Windows. Um, sadly, this does not work on a Mac, and if I turn right there, oh look, there's my iMac, which is not going to work on, unless I install VMware Fusion or Parallels, or go through Boot Camp, which I already have VMware Fusion on there, and I already have Windows 7, but it's just kind of a pain to have to do it that way when it, running a perfectly fine operating system that just isn't supported. Okay, so now we're going to open this part up right here, which has the hodgepodge itself in it. Oh, uh, that's it. We're inside there. This thing isn't as heavy as I anticipated, um, but uh, it's still got a little bit of weight to it. So we'll open it up. So, turn to the back. Okay. So, right there, you can see you have your component video in and your component video out. You have optical audio in, optical audio out. You have a thing called Blaster, which I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, you have the USB and the power supply, or the port for the power supply. I believe the top of this lights up blue when you um, turn it on. So, let's set that down. And the next part will be a setup. So that's for the, that's it for the unboxing. Bye.